Are you confused about what is debt and equity? Don't worry about it. Watch this video. Let us start with an example. Meet Mr. Avinash. He wants to leave his job and he wants to do his own business. But the problem is he is not having enough funds with him. He needed 10 lakh rupees but he had only 2 lakh rupees. So he calculated that he had to borrow rupees 8 lakh from bank. So Mr. Avinash is using two types of funds, owner's funds and borrowed funds. There is no need to return owner's funds, but borrowed funds have to be returned and regular interest is to be paid on them. Like Mr. Avinash, organization and companies do need funds for their operation. Companies also have two options. One is owner's funds, which is called as equity. And another is borrowed fund that is called as debt. Owner funds or equity include equity share capital, preference share capital and reserves and surpluses. Borrowed funds or debt include loans from banks or financial institutions, debentures and public deposits. This mix of debt and equity in the total capital of the company is called as capital structure and the person who is holding the equity of the company is called as shareholder or owner and the person who is holding a debt of the company is called as a creditor of the company. Now about the returns, the person who is holding owner funds receive dividends which are fluctuating in nature whereas the person who is holding borrowed funds they receive regular and fixed interest now let us compare equity and debt on the basis of cost and risk let us first start with cost if we compare equity and debt Equity is considered as costly, whereas debt is cheaper. And the reason behind this is, reason one, equity involves high flotation cost, whereas debt involves less flotation cost. Flotation cost involves the cost involved in advertising, printing of prospectus, underwriting fee, and other legal formalities related to issue of securities. Reason two, Equity is costly because dividend paid on equity share does not save the tax of the company whereas the interest paid on debt saves the tax of the company. Now come to the second basis that is risk. If we compare equity and debt on the basis of risk, equity is considered as riskless where debt is highly risky. And reason for that is, with equity there is no burden on the company because payment of dividend is optional and also the principal amount is to be returned only on the winding up of the company. Whereas on debt, payment of interest and the return of principal amount is obligatory 